כן? שלום אביבואן, לוטננט קרנל ג'ונתן כאן, אנחנו נמצאים על ה-IDF אופיישל פייסבוק פייג' היום אני נמצאת בפתח תקווה, אוניברסיטה פשוט נורת של תל אביב, בערך 60 או 70 מיילס מגזה, ולמה אני פה? אתם חושבים את זה מלכתם אחרונה? I'm here because this is where an, uh, another rocket has landed, exploded, and caused this massive damage that you can see around me. Take a look at the house. Take a look at the cars that were burnt on impact. And uh, let me tell you what the situation is right now on the ground. More than 1,600 rockets have been fired from Gaza at Israeli civilians. Unfortunately, there are seven dead Israelis as a result of the, this violence from Gaza. Six of them are civilians, one of them is a soldier, and of course our hearts go out to each and one of them and their families. Uh, this, rock, this site here was, uh, we're, as you can see, you're, we're surrounded here by buildings, there's many buildings around, and fortunately the rocket landed just here in the middle. As you can see there's the pit here, it's been covered so far with uh, other types of debris, but this is where the rocket landed. thankfully, and it didn't impact directly any of the houses. But all of the houses around, apartments are wrecked, all of the windows are shuttered and they're gone. You can see the damage to the cars. And I want to take you inside and, and show you how the inside of an Israeli apartment looks after a Hamas rocket has been fired. Follow me. So you can see cars totally burnt. And of course, now there's already Uh, efforts ongoing to get rid of all the rubble and to start to assess the situation. Maybe this house will need to be torn down. Maybe it can be refurbished. We don't know yet. But for sure, Israeli civilians have lost their homes. Uh, they now have to find other places to live. The only good thing about this event is, though, that there, were, there was nobody killed. People here, the Israelis, they heard the alarm. They ran for shelters. Those who had shelters inside their own uh, apartments went to their private shelters, and those who had the common shelters went there. And eventually, despite the fact that the rocket landed here and exploded and caused this massive damage, there were no uh, serious casualties, and that's a great thing. And if anybody uh, in the crowd is, is from Israel and you're listening, you know what to do. Be disciplined and seek shelter immediately when you hear the sirens, because it saves lives. The Iron Dome is phenomenal. It intercepts more than 90% of the rockets, but it cannot intercept everything, and you need to run for shelter. It saves lives as well. Let's uh, go on in and see how it looks here. It's a bit of a, of a tricky uh, walk up. As you can see, everything's totally... Uh, you can see the results of the fire here. Everything's black, uh, full of coal. And uh, as we walk carefully up the steps, it's going to be dark for a few seconds, but trust me, we're still live and filming. We're going to have a peek inside one of the apartments here uh, and see what it looks like, a close call with a Hamas rocket. Uh, let's go in one of the rooms. We're now going through, we went through, and this was the bedroom of uh, an ordinary Israeli family. Now you can see the impact site from above. You can see the massive force of that rocket. This rocket obviously had a payload of dozens of kilograms of explosives. It caused massive damage all over, and only by good luck was nobody killed here. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on in Gaza. Since Hamas continues to fire rockets at Israeli civilians, the IDF continues to attack Their, inf their military infrastructure. And we are not going to stop attacking their infrastructure. We're not going to stop attacking their operatives until they stop firing rockets at our civilians. Simple as that. And uh, we have attacked more than 600 military targets in Gaza. We've hunted down terrorists, and we will continue to do that until calm and peace is restored and until Hamas understands that they went too far. They fired at Jerusalem, and they've been firing rockets almost without stopping for now for almost three days. We're not going to tolerate that. And we are ready, prepared to ramp up operations and to continue and have them feel the pressure of our military efforts. So uh, just a quick uh, recap. You know what? Let's have a look at another room uh, since we're already in the, uh, 
in the house here. So this is a, what used to be a private residence. And uh, this is the living room, or what used to be the living room. Now imagine what kind of force, what kind of explosive yield you have to have in order to blow a hole through a wall like this, a brick wall. Uh, and uh, very fortunate that nobody was, uh, was killed here. Now, in terms of uh, where we're going from here, as I said, today Hamas has fired dozens of rockets at Israel. We have responded with attacks on military targets, and we're going to continue to do that. And we are preparing to enhance and broaden our military activities and to make sure that Hamas and the other terrorists in Gaza get their message. We're defending ourselves against their aggression, and we're committed to do so until calm and peace is restored for Israeli civilians. I thank you for being on the live, and I urge you, keep updated, follow our Twitter page, follow our live updates on Facebook, and be informed, because there's a lot of misinformation going on in international media. And if you want truth, verifiable information, you get it from the IDF. Thank you, and shalom. Bye-bye.